and good afternoon and welcome to another week in our garden now we're starting at the fruit cage this week we're going to sort this blackberry out as you can see it's a very very strong grower so we're going to have to trim out everything that's fruited this year and then tie in the canes that have not fruited which are the new canes for next season now I am going to alter the fruit cage plants this year there's some of the currants etc that need moving down the garden because this blackberry is so strong I'm going to have to make two two lines for it one with the fruiting crop on cane one with the fruiting canes on and one line for the canes that are growing it's too congested as it is and it's really taking over the whole of the current bed so we'll move the currents out i think and we'll give priority to the blackberry i can't move the blackberry it's so deep i tried before it's just you can't get down there to get it down so that'll be what i'll be doing this autumn winter but in the meantime we need to cut out the fruited canes and tie in it's quite a job so i'll show you the basics of what i'm going to do and then i'll do a section then come back to you you see all these canes here that are tied in they're all fruited so we need to cut those out so i shall cut them out in sections just to try and get them out it's going to be quite a task it's just a case and then just let me show you i should keep taking them out in sections and then these will pop through the shredder and they can go on compost heap it shreds up quite well this does so we'll go in and see what we can get out that's the and then we sort it i should cut it to here and then i should cut it lower down because i really i need to take them off at just above soil level so let's make headway into it if we can i think i need to go over there there you are that's better i'll just go along and make sure there's not so many ties on it most of the ties most of the ties are uh, jute strings so they'll rot down anyway and one more here i've cut it in two sections because it's quite big very strong plant there you are you see we'll put that around there and then we can take this one up here Let's me do that. As you can see, it's going to be quite a job. So I think the best thing I can do is cut some of this out, then come back to you when we're doing the other side. Now, as you can see, I've cut all the spent canes off this side and I've taken them as low as I possibly can down there. What I'm going to do, because this autumn, winter, I'm going to alter the frame so it's a V shape, so we've got one coming out. We'll have to move some of the fruit bushes down to the bottom. I have one coming out for it to carry next year's fruiting canes. And then one the other side to take up next year's canes that will grow for the following season. The 
light breeze far too strong to keep it where it is all that over that side or most of it anyway is for next year's fruit so really I'm never going to tie all that lot onto this small frame now nearly all the canes you can see here are next year's fruiting canes now I'm just going to loosely tie them in to keep them tidy for now and then autumn winter will make two long lines probably close to the raspberries from here a lot of the fruit bushes will move to the bottom to make room for this huge plant and then this year I shall tie in these on this side and then next year I shall tie the new canes on that side so we're organized rather than this it's just far too strong for me to cope with it like it is it crops so well we've had a huge amount of blackberries off it but it's so congested so we just need to sort things out to make not only harvesting easier but looking after it easier as well we probably noticed we've got a piece of the fruit cage missing here but when we built the fruit cage we made it so we could take this section out to be able to harvest the blackberries not knowing then that it was going to get so congested we took it out and we could hardly pick them there was it just wanted to fall on you all the time so let's get proper organized with this monster bush and then when that's done I can give it a good mulch and a feed ready for next spring when it will start growing again and then it'll have its own nice frame to to grow on rather than growing out the top of the net so I shall take some of these round I'll just show you up. just literally going to pull them into place for now and just tie them loosely to keep them tidy more than anything so to tie those in best I can and then those over there I shall have to lean this way and also tie in until we make the frame so I'll tie these up and show you what's done so as I say I'm just going to a lot of them grew out the top and we just had to cut them off to get them in it really is a strong plant it's only a bit of jute string it's not going to hurt anything I just cut that off that's it and then I'll just take this round corner for now and just tie it loose. Most of these leaves are going to fall off anyway when the frost etc come. And if you think we've got all this there and that's that's about half of the half of the plant over this side so we've got a lot of work to do there you are okay. that's basically what I'm going to do for now I'll just take that in take it away from the wire a little bit so it grows over there a bit but in the meantime I've got this side to finish now so uh, we'll get on with cutting the fruit it came down. You can see most of these are new growths. I think the the fruit it canes are on the other side so we'll have to go inside to get them. We will. Just going to cut the fruited canes off this side and try and tie it just to tidy it up and get it away from the top and then I'll 
come back to you. Now that's, I think, all the spent canes out of this side. I'm just going to tie this back and tie it down away from the top net best I can for now. So it's a case of just tying it in roughly until we get a new frame built. So I think I think if I start pulling it in as you can see the chickens have come in then normally they're not allowed in the fruit cage but obviously with taking this piece out they've been able to get in they'll do no damage now because most of the crops have been harvested in there I'm going to tie all these over here get them in this will be I'll not be able to see to do the building. Not like that though. Tie that also down like that so that can hold it. I'll tie the rest in but while I'm doing it we did pick some tomatoes in the week and we did film it so Diane will put that on now for you to see what we picked while I get these tied in good morning it's Wednesday morning and as you can see there's quite a few tomatoes to pick so we're going to pick these and then show you what we've got we're also going to pick the plum tomatoes and it looks like we're going to have a hand. Anyway, well, that's the tomato harvest for today. We picked them on a very windy day today as well. That will be frozen down as passata ready for the winter. Now, that's the monster tied up. For now what as I said I'll put a v-shaped frame up take it down one side for one year and then um, down the other side for the next year we'll find that we'll have a lot more crops off it that way and it will be a lot less work than what it is at the moment the fruit bushes we'll take down the bottom and then what we'll do we we'll just put perhaps a frame and a net over them while the fruit in. Quite a bit of work to do. Now the chickens are in here as you can see so we'll not put the side on yet and when they add their fun and come out I'll put the side up and I should put a good mulch around the blackberry. I can't do it while the chickens are in because I do believe there's a bit of manure in it. It's well rotted but I don't want to put it on while the chickens are there because they just will not leave it alone. Now we'll just pop and have a look at these pumpkins etc. 
that I had gifted to me this year. Now these are the pumpkins that I had gifted to me in a packet for Christmas seed. As you can see it was quite mixed. There's big pumpkins, small pumpkins. These that have a name but I don't know what they are. There's some yellow ones, there's some white ones and this. There's this thing that's grown there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint a face on there and put it outside the front door for Halloween. I don't think anybody will knock on the door with that. <laughs> but it's really one of them trombone uh, squashes, I think. I just don't know. But it look, I might put a little pumpkin underneath it as well. But the uh, interesting girls, no more seeds in the stocking. Let me buy the seeds so I can get nice pumpkins. But these will be fine for this year. But no more, please. It looks like the plum tomatoes are nearly ready for another pick. We only picked these a few days ago, as you know. So we might be down near this afternoon. It won't be tomorrow. I think it's going to be too windy to come out tomorrow. But it might be down near this afternoon just picking a few. Uh, While we're here, i just show you the butternut squash. I do believe we're going to get two this year, but they're making a good size. They'll be fine. They just need a bit of sunshine and get the colour right, and then we'll harvest them. Now, the other thing we're going to do this week is I'm going to pick the peppers in both greenhouses. You've seen what we've picked up to now. There's about the same again to pick, but I need the room now to get the greenhouses cleaned, etc. Ready for the winter plants. So I shall pick those this week. If they're ready, I think they will. Looking down there, I can see it's full of red peppers. So we'll get those out of the way and get the greenhouses clean. Now that'll be it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got some blackberries now's the time to get on with them many many thanks for watching thank you for subscribing we do appreciate it and hopefully we'll see you next week take care everyone bye now